Hey Ray, um, welcome back to lesson four. We've got the knowledge retrieval of 2D here, the last one of number two. Give yourself the time, the timer, um, and let's hope we're getting as, uh, all of them right this time. Pause and then press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so grab your green pens, lots of ticks. And then when you've done that, write your uh, LO to know how to convert between metric units of length. And let's be thinking that you always want to improve that, uh, the, you know, the, the tidiness of your, of your work whilst you're doing it too. You should all have the appropriate paper to do the work on etc okay so we're looking at becomes converting between metric units when it concerns length so let's just quickly read here we've got to um we've got the metric system is used to measure the length weight or volume of an object so as you can see when length is measured um, in, it's in millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. So when we want to get convert between centimetres and metres, this is how we do it. And when you want to convert between metres and centimetres, this is how you do it. And then kilometres and metres. So you're just using your 10, your 100 and 1000, depending on which one you need to switch between. So... On the I do, we have a convert 38 millimetres into centimetres. So how do we get from millimetres to centimetres? Can you remember? Because it's asking us to do millimetres to centimetres, we're going to have to um, divide. So that the... Um, units become smaller for the centimeters because we're using a smaller length to go into a larger length we must divide okay so we'll just look at the success criteria and look at number two straight away the specific, um, the specific units determined how many um zeros columns so decimal jumps are needed that's how we'll, we'll work it out so if we have 38 need to make and we need to get some millimeters well we're going to be dividing by sorry centimeters we're going to be divided by 10 to do that millimeters centimeters we need to divide by 10. Yeah. 38 divided by 10 well if we have a decimal point here which you would if you wrote it out it'd be Jumping down one column, one one jump, so that leaves you with 0.8 equals 3.8 uh, centimeters, and that'd be your answer. So nice and simple. Okay, let's move on to the we do. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so let's work out this we do. Um, 30 millimeters. Jump the decimal point down once to equal centimetres. So that would be three centimetres. Nice and easy. Well done if you got that. We know there's 10 millimetres and one centimetre here. So when you've got 30, that's a nice easy conversion. When you've got your decimal points or something like 38, and then you just need to add a decimal point and on the I do. All right, let's jump to the next I do then. Convert, right, we've got a bigger number, we've got three digits now uh, into centimeters. So let's just write that number out. If it helps, when you add that decimal point and you add a zero, if it helps to do that, just to make it clear, then do it. Okay, that is millimeters there. And it's showing the column, column, um, the, the decimal column there, the first one, the tenths. So 
it might help you to write it like that and then jump your decimal point. So we're moving to centimeters again. So we're, we're dividing by we're dividing by ten. So we need to jump it down once, one column, and that's going to leave us with twenty three point four centimeters, and that's your that's your answer. Pause the video and have a go at the the we do, please. Okay, guys, so that's your answer there. 0.4, as we did in the I do, write it out with the decimal, first decimal column and decimal point, and then just jump it down because we divided by 10. And you get your answer. Make any correction needed and move on, please. Okay, so this time it's centimeters. Oh, sorry, centimeters to meters. So we know, or we need to know, that uh, one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. Okay. So one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. So <clears throat> with that said, if we've got three hundred and forty-five. We know we're going to have three meters because it's 300. Then there's 45 centimeters left to put into meters. Okay, so three meters point four five. Okay, that would be your answer. So that's without actually, you know, saying we've divided it by ten and we've jumped any decimal points. So if you can look at the number and do it like that, that's that's fantastic. But to make sure you would have to uh, do you, you convert by the right um, ten hundred or thousandths uh, metric unit. OK, so if you was to do it that way, I want you to give it a go now. Do it that way with your we do, please. So you should have your answer down. We'll work, I'll work through this one with you. So 145 centimetres. Before that. One meter equals a hundred centimeters. So we, we must be times it. We must be sorry. We must be dividing by a hundred here. Remember, we're making centimeters into meters, which is larger. So to do that, we must divide. Going from the small to the large. If you're going from the large to the small, you're gonna to have to multiply. Okay. So anyway, one of four five centimeters. Dividing by a hundred, making two decimal jumps because um, there's a hundred centimeters in one meter. Remember, that's why we're dividing by a hundred? Let's write out with that decimal value view, so it makes it easier. There's your decimal point. We're divided by a hundred, so we need to jump down twice, two jumps this time. It's a hundred. That leaves you with. 1.45 and that would be in meters that's your answer well done if you got that then i do then so again it's centimeters into meters we're dividing by 100 29 jump down to not point equal 0.29 meters centimeters and now that's it into meters i've used my decimal point jump down twice divided by 100. okay have a go at this we do pause the video just play when you're ready okay well done if you got 0.20 meters okay so you had 20 centimeters divided by 100 and you jump right down twice well done if you got that right. Green pen, if you need to sort of make them corrections and get your head round, just simply moving the decimal point up and down. Okay, this time we're looking at converting meters into kilometers. So um, 1,000 meters equal one kilometer. So you said it, we're going to be dividing by 1,000 for that reason. 1348 meters let's say we had that as part of zero let's cut that out then all right we're divided by 1000 because we need to get it into kilometers so we're going to jump one 
two, three. And what does that leave us with? 1.348 kilometers. That's how you convert between the metric units from meters to kilometers. Pause the video, have a go at the we do, please. Okay, 1,308 meters divided by 1,000 equals 1 1.308 kilometers. Well done if you got that right. Next I do, convert 93 meters, so a much smaller number, into kilometers. So we're just going to be, we're going to have a decimal value here, aren't we? Same method, um, 93.0, writing it out that way to help you with the decimal point jumps. Okay, divided by 1,000. We go 1, 2, 3. So if you put a 0 there, you then know that it's going to be 0, 0.093. So whenever you make a jump and there's a gap, there's nothing there, you need to put a 0 because you've gone past that hundredths. Uh, there and then you would have to add the zero and the, the decimal point so we're saying that 93 is in the hundredths and the fat the three is in the thousandths column in the decimals okay like this all right so it's just trying to trick you because now you're going further into decimal value have a go at the we do pause the video and press play when you're ready Okay, so you should have wrote out your 90.0 divided by 1,000, 1, 2, 3, and then you end up with the answer here, 0 0.090. Okay, well done, have you got that right? Green pen, if needed, please. Green pen for a big tick, if you got it right. Okay. Now what have we got here? Let's have a look. So we've got 2.8 centimetres into millimetres. So now we're going from a larger um, length, a unit, smaller length unit. So we're going to be multiplying because there's going to be more meter, millimetres to represent those centimetres when you convert it. So now we're going to be moving the decimal point the other way but first we need to remember how many millimeters are in a centimeter um 10 millimeters equals one centimeter we will be times in by 10 okay so one 2.8 centimeters times by 10 we move that decimal point down once we shift that eight up going to equal 28 millimeters that would be your answer Pause the video, have a go at the we do please. Okay, 2.9 centimetres times 10 equals 29 millimetres. Okay, in the smaller unit. Well done if you got that right. Green pen if needed. Convert 0 0.1 centimetre into millimetres. 0 0.1 times 10. 0 0.1, jump it down once, that equals 1, okay. So 0 0.1 centimeter equals 1 millimeter. All right, have a go at the we do then. Press play when you're ready for the answer. A. Hey, so 0 0.1 times by 10 equals 0 0.1 millimeters. You have to jump the decimal point once to the right, and it was still a decimal value on this occasion. So it was 0 0.1 millimeters. Move on. All right, so now we're going from meters down to centimeters. Remember, 100 centimeters equals one meter. We must times by 100. Okay, we're going from the big, bigger unit to the small unit, which means 
more columns. So 2.15 times 100. We need to move the decimal point down twice, which means it's going to equal 215 centimeters. Okay, pause video, have a go at the we do, please. Okie dokie, so 2.10 meters times 100 equals 210 centimeters. Perfect. In pen if you need it, please. Make sure you're taking your answers, getting them right. Right, we've got a large number. Well, I say large, yeah. We've, it's got more decimal value in it. It is slightly larger than the last I do. So, the 7.023 centimeters, that's sorry, meters in centimeters. So, we times by 100. That's going to be moving it down twice, as we've done already. And that leaves us with 7, uh, 0, 2.3. Centimeters. Remember, this is meters that you start with. Okay. You'll go on the we do. Press play when you're ready for the answer. This time it was 23 centimeters. Well done if you got it right. All right. Now we're back to kilometers and meters. You said it. There's a pattern here emerging. Nice and simple. Times in by a thousand. Four times a thousand will mean four thousand meters. Okay, do we do then? Four thousand five hundred meters. Well done if you got it correct. Yes, I do then. Zero point five five thousand. We jump it down, one, two, three. I know that's into nothing, it's going into part of some, but that would leave us with right. Okay, your go. You should have an answer of 50 meters. If it started at 0 0.05, when you jump it down once, 0 0.5, jump it down twice, 5, jump it down three times for a thousand, 50 meters. Okay, here are some questions. Give yourself an eight minute timer and read the question properly so you know which conversion you're making, but more so read from what the measure the length is into what length is it larger or smaller or smaller to larger so you know whether you're dividing or multiplying we did lots of practice so i don't expect to get in many of these wrong at all guys let's get them smashed please
Here are your uh, answers. Lots of green ticks, lots of green arrows. Pause, do that. When you've finished, press play. Here's some more questions. Eight minute time and challenge yourself again if you want to put 10, that's fine. Get them done. Again, checking, multiplying or dividing. Don't just assume it's been the pattern that we did them in before. You probably noticed that if it wasn't on the last set of questions. Press play when you're ready for the answers. Pause the video now and complete these.
All right, lots of green ticks. Lastly, we've got, is this true, a statement true or false? So something slightly different. Give yourself maybe a shorter timer for this. You might need to do some working out. You might be able to just look at it and know. Press, so pause, maybe six minutes timer for some, maybe less. And play when you're ready for the answers.
Okay. Oh, lots of trues here. Only a couple of falses. I hope you all true it in your green pens. Okay, here's a nice little a test question that you would have in your half term test, for instance, or maybe on an exam. Give those a go, one mark for each. Press play when you're ready for the answers, please. So there's your answers. Well done if you got those right. They're very similar to everything you've been practicing. They're no harder. So well done. Should be an extra three marks to yourself today. Bit of a self-assessment here. Ask yourself these questions. Answer them. Write the answers down on paper. Always good to self-reflect on what you've learned in the lesson. Okay, well done. You've reached the top of another peak. And I'm sure you smashed that lesson today, guys. So I think next lesson we're looking at either uh, volume or um, mass. So I'll see you then. Take care.